So, kind of odd how it's all falling into 
this is also just a rumor, so this may not be true, but it was rumored, like I said, that Donald was gay, and that his family had really, really, really tried to get him to not go down that route. And while Donald still loved his family, he was very upset with them, as they had sent him off to several camps and various places to see if he could kind of change who he was and not be gay anymore. And that really bothered him. So it was eventually decided that Donald would be in the Navy. Like I said, I have no idea how accurate that is, but that is the supposed rumors about Donald. Now, the police, of course, tried to question Donald about this, and he basically said that he was not involved and that gun wasn't his, but I'm thinking, how crazy is that for that gun to be there? Like, did someone steal it from him? I have no idea. The police looked more into the car that was found in the area abandoned, and two men were arrested in relation to the car. Both were ex-convicts. One was named Roy Light, and the other man is unnamed. But the waiter at the restaurant where the Martin family was last seen, who knew Roy and the unnamed ex-convict, claimed that both were there at the same time the Martin family was there, and that they all left the restaurant pretty much one right after the other. A few other reports started then coming into the police about the Martin family. Of course, after the police had found out that, you know, these two ex-convicts had been arrested, they began to question them. An orchard owner claimed to have seen the Martin family searching for greenery in a canyon. And that following week, he noticed quite a few buzzards flying around the area. The police searched the Cannon Canyon, but found nothing related to the Martin family. Then a few weeks went by with no news. Then, on December the 28th, a woman's glove was discovered near the abandoned white Chevrolet.
missing. 